Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. We are about to finish Advanced Flight, which will reveal aluminum on the map. Fingers crossed. I hope we have some. Because we'll need some to be able to build the bombers. And I would like to test the bombers. See just how good they are. Preferably test them on Scythia. That's the general plan. But we might want to recruit a few more units before we declare war on Scythia. Maybe upgrade that swordsman at least. Because we can certainly do that. We'll see. We are about God, to finish a broadcast center. To fly, so then we can recruit a few units. The and we got advanced flight. So do we have aluminum? There's one source over here, but that's actually just outside of our border. And I cannot buy it. It's not inside Toronto's border, but it's unlikely we'll get that one. Any other aluminum anywhere around here? I'm not seeing any. What about the other continent? Yeah, there's some over here, right next to the oil. Well then, we are definitely going to settle this city now, but that's likely going to be the last city that we'll settle in this game. Probably. And we'll get a settler once we finish a submarine in Corinth. As for the builder, it will actually be slightly better to get a mine. Because that will be plus three. As for our next research, we could go for the research lab or we could go for replaceable parts to unlock infantry. Especially if we're going to declare war on Scythia. Sounds good, we can do that. And upgrades. Let's upgrade the swordsman. And anything else? I think that's it, basically. We can't get any more upgrades. We cannot upgrade the pikemen yet. Yeah, that's all the upgrades we can get. Well, I guess we can upgrade the biplane. Okay, then. And send the archaeologist. With an escort. Alright, let's not declare war just yet will prepare a little bit better. It's probably not necessary. Because, you know, Scythia is two eras behind us. But I'll prepare a little bit better regardless. We can get a few more units because we really don't have a lot of units. And we know they have a lot of cavalry. We're about to finish the broadcast center. And that's the encampment district city. We'll just recruit a few units here. And we got Eureka Boost for telecommunications. Always good to see. And let's have a look. What can we grab? We could build the military academy, but I don't think I want to wait for that. No, I do not. Let's have a look then. What can we get? Maybe we should get the medic. That is a very nice unit. Let's see. Another tank would be nice. Let's get a tank. That will take eight turns. Actually, hold on. Should we get a tank? Oh yeah, the other city is busy with the wonder. We can get a musket man in only four turns. Ranger in six. Obviously, the musket man is nowhere as good as the tank. The tank has 80 melee strength. Cavalry has 62. I guess the tank is the best option. Let's go for the tank. It will just take 8 turns. As for Sparta, we could recruit something in Sparta too, like a pikeman. A pikeman wouldn't be bad because we know Scythia has a lot of cavalry. What else can we do in Sparta? Not a whole lot. We could improve our production a little bit by planting a forest. I will actually do that and get a lumber mill. Because we need more production badly. One builder should be enough. We got four more builds. What do we want in here? Industrial zone would take 20 turns. That's a little bit too long. Commercial hub. It wouldn't be every good commercial hub. Let's just get that pikeman. It's eight turns. Alright, and we'll buy the hill. It's not going to be cheap, but it will give us more production. 
So that's a very nice tile now. Let's have a look. Yep, two food, four hammers. And we could also get a lumber mill to the north. We could get two lumber mills, and we definitely should. Especially since we don't have to spend any gold to actually get these tiles, because we already have them. Can't upgrade the musket men anymore, but we will be able to once we finish replaceable parts. Okay. So you will stay where you are, I suppose. And move into the fort. Anything else? Sleep. And fortify. Maybe on top of the fort. Alright. We could move the artillery a little bit closer to the fort, I suppose. Done. I wonder if we could convince someone to declare war with us. Not that we really need any help. It might be better to declare holy war. Or colonial war, because we can also do that. They are two eras behind us. This is a pretty good deal, yes. We shall accept. Hey, stop spreading your religion, come on. It's time to use our apostle, from the looks of it. We can tell him to stop converting our cities. He's friendly, so he should agree. Do not convert my cities. Can we get any more deals? Can we declare friendship? No. Can we do it with anyone else? Probably not. Nope. Okay, never mind. If you don't want to, then fine. And now we need a settler to get the aluminum. We will get it from Toronto, but we can get more than one source. That definitely won't hurt. Let's keep moving. And... Move a little bit closer to the tank. Alright, and lumber mill to increase production slightly. And we cannot use the trade route because we only got four. We lost two trade routes when we switched government. But we'll keep the trader. We'll use him later once we get a fifth trade route. Musketman to the front. I could actually bring the flying snipers for <laughs> that's what they are called now. 70 range strength. It would take a little bit too long, probably. Yeah, 9 turns, that's way too long. Never mind, we will not be waiting for that. Now, lumber mills, we got one more build, so it's going to be literally one lumber mill. But it should be a lumber mill next to the river, so one of these two to the north, not this one. Four turns to get replaceable parts. And five turns to get Cold War. That is a lot of notification spam. Alright, let's position properly. So, like this. And we got three more builds. Let's just get two more lumber mills. And we got a great person. That is going to be a scientist. Triggers Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern or atomic era. Okay. Applies 23 great people points towards recruiting all current and future great people. That is really nice. Oh, that's Alfred Nobel. All right. Recruit, obviously. And now, let's be careful because there might be some barbarians around here. I'm not seeing any currently. So it looks safe. Okay, you guys will just chill somewhere around here and sleep with the trader. And we are in positions. Almost. You were supposed to move one more tile, but never mind. Let's pop Alfred Nobel. We got Eureka boss for rocketry, nice. Next. Yes, we need more housing, I'm aware. But thanks for the update. Someone built the Oxford University. We had literally no possible location for that. This is a pretty good deal, we will accept. Six turns to get the tank. I'm probably not going to wait for that, but I want the infantry before we declare war. And another great person. Oh yeah, that's the great engineer. So with the great engineer, 
with this guy specifically, we could increase the appeal of all tiles around Miletos and then get the national park. That should work. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We just need to actually get there in the first place. So off you go, that will take a couple of turns. And I suppose we might as well buy the naturalist. There's no need to wait. Yep, let's just buy him. It's expensive, but oh well. Birmingham. We'll grab barracks. Seeing how we already got the encampment district. So barracks. And I don't see any barbarians, that's good. Grab the artifact. Vilnius. Looking good, and lumber mill again. So, we will stay here. No, I don't want to declare war. I wanted to move. Like this. Okay, that's better. And privateer will just chill around here. In case any barbarians spawn. Where are antiquity sites? There's one to the north. We could grab that one, and there are a few to the south. Doesn't really matter which one we're going to grab. We'll get all of them. There are more to the south, so let's just go south. But with the privateer. We can kill barbarians with the privateer if necessary. Because that is a ranged ship, not melee, like in Civ 5. Accept, that's a good deal. I'm really surprised Congo isn't settling more cities, but oh well. Come on. Okay, we got one more use on the builder, which means we cannot plant a forest and then build a lumber mill, because that requires two actions. However, we can get a mine, and that mine is actually in range of Sparta. So that sounds good, and we got another new archaeologist. Let's send him west right away. We could actually grab this antiquity site over here. Seems slightly risky, but we aren't at war just yet, so we might as well grab it, right? Sure, why not? And 10 out of 10 housing. Sounds like we really need the neighborhood district by now. Plus 6. Looks like that's the best option we got. Alright. Carry on then. And let's just move like this. It should be safe-ish. We can always use the privateer to attack any barbarian units nearby. Another antiquity site to the south. If we'll need it. And now we just wait for the right moment to declare war. Scythia might get suspicious. So maybe we should just go for it right now? Possibly. I think we'll need to buy this tile. And let's pop the great person then. Does plus one appeal to any tile owned by this city. Like this. And now we can check the appeal map mode. So this should work now. Right? Or will it not work? Actually, this didn't work like I thought it will. Maybe we need to wait one turn. Because some of these tiles were already average previously, and they did not improve. Let's wait one turn and see. But that would be disappointing. I was convinced we'll be able to start a national park. Embassy? Yeah, sure. That is fine. How's our espionage going? Yes, it's nice. I agree. Awaiting assignment. Well then, let's give them an assignment then. Four turns to finish the, the tank, and we finished replaceable parts. Its parts must be standard, and hence replaceable. And now we can upgrade the musket men, I assume. Zero gold, for some strange reason. I'm not sure why that was zero gold. It's a little bit odd. It almost feels like a bug. I don't think it's supposed to be zero gold. 
But all right. And before we declare war, we should grab the antiquity site, I suppose. Because otherwise, our archaeologist will definitely die. And we do not want that, do we? So what the heck happened with the appeal? It was supposed to increase, but it didn't. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So we actually cannot designate any national parks. That is very disappointing. I would have to get the Eiffel Tower. What's the next great engineer? Yeah, he will not rush wonders, unfortunately. This district's buildings provide plus two production. And reach three tiles further. We will not get that guy. So it looks like we have a useless naturalist. Okay, fine. We might be able to get a national park around the Dead Sea. Yes, I think so. If we grab the antiquity site, this should be a valid location. Okay, let's go grab that antiquity site. But this one first. And we still need that settler 10 more turns. I don't want to wait 10 turns. Can we speed this up? A bit? I don't think we can, no. Alright, I guess we'll wait 10 turns in that case. Next research. Advanced ballistics. Sounds good. Only 4 turns. Because we already got the boss. Sure, let's go for that. And artifact. Vilnius. Can we get any theming bonuses? I don't think we can. We can't even move these things. I'm not sure why we can't move the artifacts. It doesn't make any sense. Wait, what? Artifacts may only be moved from full archaeological museums. Those with no empty slots. That's interesting, but I can't move them anywhere. Can you only move them from a full museum to a full museum? Because it's starting to look that way. We can check once we get one more artifact. Cold War is almost done. And neighborhood district is almost finished. Three turns to finish the tank. So we'll wait for the artifact. And the tank will be finished around the same time. Cold. What do you want? Ignore this request. So, Cold War. I don't think I'll be changing any policies right now. Each envoy you send to a city-state counts as two. If its sovereign has a different government than you. That is not a bad policy, but I will not be changing anything. What can we get next? What would actually be useful? Rapid deployment. And space race. Oh yes, yeah, space race maybe? Professional sports. I think amenities are mostly fine right now, but a stadium would be nice. We are almost done with the entire civic tree. Plus 50% tourism output to civilizations to which you have a trade route. Okay. Plus 50 production towards information era units. Air units. And towards all carriers. Plus 5 production and plus 10 gold from all international trade routes. That is nice. But that's the final civic. What do we want then? We do not need nuclear program, I don't think so. Let's go for professional sports. For this stadium mostly. And... Campus. Plus three. We would have to remove the improvement. Arena, amenities. We are at zero amenities. I suppose we should get the arena. Lumber mill and that's going to be the last improvement for now because we do not have more builders and a mine. And the naturalist will have to wait for his turn. Okay then, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to designate national park 
around the Dead Sea. Let's go in that general direction. Hopefully there are no barbarians. This is slightly risky, but I'd like to pick up that antiquity site. Any more upgrades we can do? I don't think so. No, we cannot. We could bring the pikeman. We do not need him over there. We still cannot pop the great artist. We need another Acropolis, otherwise we will never be able to pop the artist. So I would have to remove the copper or something like that. I'm actually considering it now. I don't know, we'll see. We can also let the artist just rot in there. <laughs> but I would prefer not to. He would probably prefer not to as well. But I didn't ask him for his opinion. Sleep. There's no need to scout. We mostly know what's here. Does Scythia have any coastal cities? Actual coastal cities? No. Doesn't look like it. They do have a harbor, but it's not an actual coastal city. We got a pikeman that is going to be helpful. And we'll bring more pikemen. And Athens. Let's build something useful in Athens. What would that be? We don't need neighborhood district just yet. I'm almost considering Eiffel Tower. We could remove the bananas. I'm not too excited about that idea. And 38 turns is just a little bit too long at this stage of the game. Let's just get some bombers, because I would really like to test bombers. See just how good they are. And Sparta. We have enough units, I think. We can grab industrial zone. With plus one. That's a really crappy industrial zone. Not impressed. Commercial hub. Yeah, there are no good locations for districts around here. Which is disappointing. We could grab a sewer, I suppose. It will help our housing situation, and Sparta does need more housing. I think we're ready. Oh yeah, no, we're not ready just yet, because I would like to grab that antiquity site. And there are more antiquity sites around here. So here's what we're going to do. We'll grab all three of these antiquity sites near Scythia, and then declare war. Do we actually have enough slots? We do have a few more. We got three more slots. So not that many, really. How many turns to finish the wonder? Ten turns to finish the wonder. Which other city needed Acropolis? This one already has it. We can check real quick by going through the cities. So let's have a look. Sparta doesn't have one, but Sparta has low production. Ephesus doesn't have one, but we already know that. Our newest city, obviously, Corinth. Corinth has pretty crappy production. Which city has highest production out of the ones without Acropolis? I think it's going to be Miletos. Looks that way, 23. We could improve it a little bit more with a lumber mill or so. Alright, but let's finish neighborhood district first and then we'll build the Acropolis. What about these apostles? I guess we can kill some of them because why the heck not? I don't want them here. So get out. Alright, Scythia, let's have some fun. I'm not going to wait any longer. I think we waited long enough. And it's not like we're going to lose. So let's declare war. We can probably go for Holy War. Hold on, what about that archaeologist? Okay, there are three more antiquity sites around here. 
Is it safe to declare war right now? It might be better to wait one more turn. Let's wait one more turn. I don't want to lose that guy. We have one more slot, I think. Oh yeah, we didn't pick up the artifacts yet. Let's get more units. What can we get? Artillery. Let's get a medic. I would definitely like to test one. And... A spy? Sure, we can get a spy. What are the spies doing? They aren't doing anything. They are awaiting assignment. Choose mission. Gain sources. Why was there no prompt to give them something to do? That's a little bit strange. But okay. Gain sources. And then we'll do something useful. Artifact. And one more artifact. And I think that's it. We used all the slots for artifacts. So if we want more, we're going to need more archaeological museums. But we also need an, an art museum, because we have an artist waiting doing nothing. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Alright, Envoy. Where do we want to send him? Kabul. Oh yeah, it would be nice to get Kabul back before we declare war. So we'll do that. And then... Let's see. We got one more envoy. Where do we want to send him? I might just take Zanzibar back. Or we can take Vilnius. Right, what's the bonus here? Oh yeah, when you enter a new era, earn one random inspiration from that era. There aren't many eras left, but whatever. We can get Vilnius anyway. Where's Vilnius exactly? Is it going to be helpful? For our war with Scythia? Not really. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you next time for our war with Scythia.